And just to, just as a reminder, ease the pounding. You're 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 doing it on your lap, which is fine. You did a couple on the what, table. Just now? Well, earlier. Okay. Yes. Uh, <laughs> just just wanted to you know make you aware of it. You do tend to make forceful yeah, gestures, forceful. and the recording goes. <laughs> <laughs> It's just so I to hold it on us, our it's laps or what? No, no, no. I just have my my iPhones on the table. So. Oh, your iPhone is doing it for me. Yeah. Oh. So if you pound the table, yeah. oh. it kind of really picks up. <clears throat> oh, okay. But um, <coughs> you want to pound the table? Oh, I'll, I'll pound the wall. It's a pretty bad uh, <laughs> reflection that way. Oh well, it's always there. <laughs> it's always there. Yeah. At least I. It's usually, I mean, it's SD, so it's hard to see the board anyway. Right. Well, we talked it first, so. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it's nice to see you through the kitchen. Yeah. Very busy. Yeah. Uh, tuning in. Right. So, yeah. All right. Yeah, it's going. All righty. Great. Well, welcome. Tonight we're going to do analysis of a place in the sun. Here. And uh, let's get to it. So, I'd like to throw together a little quick, not synopsis, but identification of the overall story through line. Don't all jump at once. <laughs> <laughs> What's it I, about? I think I, I think what everybody's concerned about is kind of the um, this the this. Nephew of the boss, the boss's nephew, comes in, you know, um, uh, and you know, and, and sort of like his his, you know, career path or you know or not or what you know it has. I think everything centers around George, um, and I, I I'm I'm not sure if it's it's you know that that the overall story is focused on his. Um, Sort of, you know, career path, but there's not a whole lot of emphasis about that. So it's more about his source sort of status. Maybe um, it's about. Oh, there's a lot of talk about his background. Like lots of people are talking about his background, his career, and then in the courtroom, it's about like his real intentions. Mm -hmm. Right now, how much of that is the main character through it? Well, okay, let's do the main character is George. 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 Right. Okay. So let's get that out there. So. Um, <laughs> What part of the overall story does not include things that are personal to George? The, not, in other words, if you took out his personal life, what do you have left? The, the social business, right? and family, but but also but also the relationship with this other prominent family, the Vickers. The Vickers. Um, it, it you know I mean even the media is concerned with that. You know, so how he's insinuating himself into that family uh, and kind of living up to his name, but, you know, not so much to his legacy, but... Um, so it's sort of a poor relation moving into the, you know, for trying to assimilate into the upper class. Social climate. Social climate. Yeah, social climate. Okay. So it's social climbing that would sort of be a thematic subject matter. Mm -hmm. um, but more specifically about the an activity. The, the, the outsider. No, it's, it's the Eastman nephew. It's the poor. Well, yeah, he's the poor relation. I the mean, they relation. really make a big point about him being the poor relation. That you know, is he going to fit in? And do we have to make? Do we have to fit him in? And all that part. And eventually, he, you know, the reason that they don't want to fit him in is because of the thing that sort of like exactly the problem he ends up with. That it, they would anticipate the kind of problem you'd be having. Now, getting some girl, some nobody knocked girl. up and you, you mean know. in trouble. Yes, in <laughs> trouble. Yes. Yes, you had definitely had to read between the lines and all the you know the things that they couldn't say. So and all the code words and. But if you take George out of the overall story, I don't know that you have. No, but you can still have left. a poor relation. It in other words, it could have been a, you could you could play another <laughs> person other than George, 
he could also be a poor relation, but you could you could have another poor relation or somebody who's poor trying to fit themselves in that would still tell that same story about that that person who is of no social class trying to insinuate themselves, not necessarily intentionally, but who is finding themselves put into this other class and the tensions that that seemed to create. Even though George happens to be, it's kind of like I think he's sort of the protagonist and the main character, so it's hard to separate those, but I think you, if you thought of the story differently and said there was another one that was the poor relation, you can still see George having his personal relationships with, you know, let's say he started off and he was an Eastman, but he was, you know, the, the son instead of the poor relation. You could still see him having, you know, a relationship with one of the workers as well as the socialite. And that would follow that main character kind of thread. Um, whereas the social climbing or the, the incompatible social status elements of that uh, are the thing that you'd find in the big picture. And I'm not, you know, we don't, it, they spend so much time on the main character, so much time on the relationships, so, so much time on not that big picture, um, that I think it's, because it's so downplayed, until the end, it's like the end, it almost everything else disappears, they do the functional, let's, let's wrap up, let's do the investigation. Which is main character and overall story, which is you know how a lot of stories just skip the other part and then bring relationship back in right at the end and tie it up. Yeah, I, w I was responding to you saying it was more of a uh, main character thing. Uh, well, but well, but when you see, story. remember when did he first see her? When did, her, which her. Her. <laughs> when did he first see? Um, Elizabeth Taylor. Yeah, Elizabeth Taylor. Well, was hitchhiking. Uh, right. Is that yeah. Alex or? Oh, she was no, car. not Alex. Is that Angela. 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 Was she right. The cars? She was yes. the car that was right before he got into the jalopy. Oh. And, and also, right. was she, she was the one looking on like the... depressed, like gosh, I wish she had stopped for me. And yeah. You no, know, he's. But he first saw Angela at the party. No, he saw her driving by when he's the very first scene. The credits are rolling. She's credits? driving. She's driving, yeah, and he sees her, and he's looking it. like this, and he's wa watching and watching her drive off. Oh. He's like this, and he looks back, and suddenly there's this jalopy sitting there waiting for him. It's I like, didn't realize that was Angela. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They didn't li linger on it, but it, mm -hmm. if you can, the car is the big tell. The question is, is she the white car? But I realized I didn't connect that it was actually Angela. Right. Well, that's no, why I said the very first time I met you, even before I met you. I think that's what the reference was. When he saw well, also, her. was she the girl on the, on the billboard? That I, I got the impression that was the intent that she was the girl on the billboard because he, what billboard? I, the, 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 the Eastman the billboard. Suits. Mm -hmm. suits. Oh. on the street. Oh, so I don't know. I, but I, I don't. I don't think it was. I don't think it was uh, because they didn't sort of refer back to it. But I, right. at the yeah, moment, man, I had she that wouldn't impression. have been caught dead up. There. Her parents wouldn't have let her, let her right. be up she there. Been. And then I'm going to put a social light no. in a bathing suit back then. Not in that context, right? right. <laughs> <laughs> but it also may have, you know, if it was that type, it may have been, again, if you, if you thought of her, then that may have been one of the reasons they did that. It, I didn't even notice it. This may also, I don't know, maybe part of the overall story, just connect. It's, it's a, it would have a class warfare going on. I mean, there's a lot of class distinctions being made all through that week. And that's supposed to associate with you know, when they work for, and there's a lot of sign that says no working place beyond the sign, and the way his the aunt and the aunt and cousin, kind of, you know, so that it's it's sort of like social climbing and social disdain, segregation, segregation. Well, yeah, it's you don't sleep where you eat. Yeah, that's the, kind of the the guy at the front, the guard. He's like the uh, George comes in and says. Have you, have you seen Eastman or something like that? And he's like, no, I've been here five years, I haven't seen yeah, him or anything like that. Right. So they play a lot on that thing. Of he's so outside. And, and, and then even Shelly Winter, she can't believe that he's not going to be a supporting one. It takes quite a bit into the movie. But, yeah. For her to finally go, oh, actually, maybe it's a 
Anyway, I just think that right. part of that overall story. Okay. And uh, what about the influence character or characters? Who do you think it's supposed to be? Who do you think? Is there a handoff? I, I think it's just Elizabeth Taylor. And well, I, I think that's, it, it, as far as the author's intent, I think, I, I mean, that's as far as I would go in terms of any kind of certain answer. Um, you know, in other words, I don't know who changes who. Oh, right. If anything, if anyone changes. But in terms of who I think they, uh, they intended the second most important character to be, if you is good. And, and, and I think Shelley Lynch is not one of them. Well, no, but she also is, I mean, she's definitely part of the, the mixing of classes. Right. But it's like Alice, the other characters, and she, she's not in court to him in the same way as her. But she's, but it, Angela doesn't come in to his life trying to influence him until he's at that birthday party, or he's at the event of his birthday. And up until that no, point, no, but he, the very first, I mean, he sees her on the road. He it's sees her when she, he goes to, to his uncle's house. Imagine because you hear the music when she walks in. So that's the first clue. But, <laughs> but <laughs> it's like just she's she's the influence him at all up until that point. I mean, it's like he has this kind of attraction to her. But well, it depends. But we, we'll figure out what the domains are. I mean, we'll see exactly what, if it is, what the nature of that is. And if it's, and if it's Alice... Then, you know. So I was just saying, so that's where I'm trapped because I, I see Alice doing more, causing him to do more, um, affecting him more. First, having a relationship with him, um, then threatening him later, and so that he has to act. And so oh, that, I'm, I'm just I saying, I don't know how to separate those two. It's one of the two. All right, so well, we can put it down, uh, and then we can, you know, as we can explore it. It could even go. be a handoff from the mother. Because, or his mother? Yeah. If you start to think about it, her lifestyle and the fact that she was poor and what have you, that impacts him to want to get to him. But that or more defines ahead. him. I think he he identifies himself by his family. In fact, when he was describing himself to his potential father-in-law, he pretty much was defining himself in terms of his father and his mother, which his uncle's family was doing the same thing, you know, defining him in terms of his relationship to them. So I think that really, I think not only does it, do the other characters define him in that sense, but I think he does himself as well. You know, that sort of the religious people, you know, the one who have disdain for money. Ooh, you know. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of thinking that his uncle, we do a handout to him. Angela and the uncle together, because the uncle sees something in him. And I think the uncle facilitates it, but I don't think he has any, necessarily any. He doesn't last all the story. No, but he also doesn't really have any. I don't think he really has any influence on him. I think he just, he's a, if you're going to have someone who's a catalyst in the overall story, he's probably, or, or guardian or something like that, somebody who's a helper. helper. If that's kind of what he does. He helps him, but there's really no. Thing. Yeah, he's sort, he's a little bit even surprised that George comes up with these ideas. It's not like he said, "Come up with a great ideas, we'll advance you." Right, does right. That. No, he doesn't have it. It's it's like, again, his his connection to George is that he is a relation. Yeah, his family. He's an Eastman. Yeah. There's a little bit of kindness to Tommy. Right. He's the uncle. He hardly even knows him. No, he doesn't. He's, he's he doesn't want. He doesn't really want to. Yeah, right. he's walking through the line. He's like, "Hey, who's this?" Oh, well, that's your nephew. Oh, well, I didn't know he was in this department. Right. Yeah. Um, did you? Yeah, I was just gonna say. To me, the difference between Alice and Angela is Alice is it's more an objective sort of thing, which fits within the overall story. Whereas with Angela, it's more like a personal... Right. In other words, the initial inequity is set up is don't sleep with anybody at the office and of course... And Alice is like, here First thing he does. But it's more like just <laughs> like a... You know, so that there's the inequity that you know is going to somehow have to be resolved and probably not going to end up in a good place. Well, I'll be curious to see, because I'm, I'm not clear how Angela's influence is. Oh, because she drives him to the market. 
But I mean, what's, what's, <laughs> what's the change? What, what's she trying to ah, do? Ah, oh, that's right. different. The change yeah. of step has, let's hold off on. Well, that's what I'm saying. Well, one of them, but, but I don't see influence from her. I see that okay. she's attracted to her. She, she's tempting to her. Right. But I don't see influence from her. I don't think she has to try to influence. No, I there think is she only has to Intent is them. not necessary. Right. Right. Even awareness is not necessary. It's the existence and plug thing. Okay, and then what the relationship between George and Angela? Romantic thanks to her. Yeah. But also, you know, the, there's the, the class difference that plays into it. It's no. Like, no. Nope, no, not in a relationship. So not at all. That's the one thing. There was never, ever an issue. Yeah, he loved her. She loved him. It didn't matter. It was Romeo and Juliet. They didn't even, I mean, so everybody else has side. a problem with it, but they don't have a problem with it. That really important distinction, because that's where you get it up in the overall story. Um, and it's good that she's not like Cousin or something. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah, they're just two two fam two, two rich families that just don't know each other. That's that's right. really the only relationship. It's just their and the fact that the rich, other rich family happens to have a blinking sign outside his yeah. bedroom, yeah, right. the, <laughs> constantly <laughs> flashing her name, and it's like, hmm, there's a way you can have an influence character with speaking without actually being present. And they did a lot of those kinds of things, especially with the, the superimpositions and the weird dissolves and stuff. And they did an awful lot of here's what a lot of it's supposed to mean kind of thing. Right. And sound as well. You know, dogs barking, uh, police sirens, you know. Bird, the murder bird. Right. <laughs> the loon. The loon, right. The so they, they the use that a lot to clue you in on, I mean, now it's kind of heavy handed. Compared, but back then, I don't know that it was necessarily as heavy-handed because people weren't quite as, as you know, didn't have that as much film experience and media experience as we, we, we've had. So they had to kind of be a little heavy-handed with it just so that it was like, oh, maybe this has something to do with it. Yeah. Five just minute, the thought. Five-minute dissolves. Yeah, right, in and out, in and yeah, out, yes. Exactly. Cross dissolves going, and that's why I said they're really more superimposition that than, you know, one had just right. blinking arrows. Yeah. Uh, well, today it looks like that. I don't know that it necessarily was read that way. No. Just like saying that I'm in trouble, you know, everybody knew what that meant, but you didn't have, for that kind of thing, you didn't have to say anything because you couldn't. But the other things, the you know, were not the same the awareness of the other, the visual and the auditory language cues or sound cues were not nearly as, um, I think, probably as obvious to a lot of audience members. Okay, so I'm going to skip the, well, <laughs> skip resolve for the moment. All right. Um, how about main character approach, doer or beater? And give examples. This is the main character personal preference. I think he's a doer. Pretty obviously, because <laughs> he sets off what, yeah, he the first thing he does is uh, leave home, go and and get a job with the, the Eastmans. Uh, um, he kills the girl. Well, actually, he does. I, well, actually, think, no. He. I mean, I know you can, Think of the personal moments. He, he's not going right, to say add. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying just think. <laughs> in, the, in the theater, when she's sitting next to somebody and he realizes she's not with that singer, he was right over. That's an excellent example. Keep going. There are a bunch in that sequence. Um, he's got his hands all over her. Yeah. He's, you know... He's, yeah, the arm is on her. Oh, right. I'll go in the bedroom uh, you know, to turn down the radio. You know, oh, I'll close the door. It's, I mean, he is, he is really fast mover on all of that. You know, he does a, definitely, the thing is, he's, he is a, an extreme brooder. Mm -hmm. But, so the question is, you know, in those moments when he's dealing with 
um, Angela, is he a doer or is he a beer? Yeah, she's she's driving all of the initial contacts and moving things forward within that. There, we're just quiet. She's always trying to read what he's thinking. What do you think? What do you think? And he's not expressing himself at all when he's in hell, but yeah, when he's on now, he's all over. He's no problem. Right, so I, I mean, I, not, I, I don't know about you, but it, 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 I see a lot of both. I'm not sure exactly which one is dominant in what, which context. <laughs> this may be one where we wanted to pick the domains. And use that to help inform, you know, our, our choice as opposed to vice versa. Yeah. Because yeah. uh, I can see, you know, in different contexts, he has sort of completely different approaches. I mean, there. I mean, th yeah. I mean, even given what you said, there were times when just like he just he just dripped the earnest. Yeah. Because he was just <clears throat> when you see him walking in, you know, it's like I, it, it's just his his posture, you know. He's not doing anything, but his the way he's holding himself, his posture, and even the way he's he's dressing, just kind of is what's communicating. And, and so many times when he's just he's um, he's just seriously thinking about things. I mean, especially yeah. both, but that's not the first time when he's just like he's thinking and thinking and thinking and trying to decide and sweating, and trying to decide how he feels about. Well, when he goes to know. that, remember he goes to that party, you know, and he sort of moves between one group and another and sort of. Takes on different. Well, sort he of, tries, but well, he's doing. He's he's actually approaching them, and they move on, and he's kind of left standing. Yeah, right, but that's, that's not. No, you can't. He's not. A, <laughs> he is a material, corporeal person, so he's not going to float in or something. He does have to exist in the real world. The question is, you know. When he goes, there's a group, and he kind of like stands, and then he starts smiling because they're all laughing and stuff, and then they leave, and he kind of like that sort of drains away. He, it almost like he's trying to fit in just by by being there and being one of them without he doesn't do anything. I mean, he puts himself there and then tries to sort of fit in. The same thing with his job. He's just like, yeah, okay, fine, yeah, I'll, sure, I'll do, yeah, I'll I'll go along with your rules. I'll fit in. I'll you know, uh, I mean, he, he goes to buy the suit. You know, before he meets his uncle, he buys you know he buys the suit so that he can put forth an impression. Um, so he that so he's not too out of place. And that seems more well, of changing yourself. The, the you first know. time he he does it, right? It's the second yeah. time. He, wait, the first time he does. No, before, right. before he first meets. time he's in one he's in the sort of the drab suit. The next time he goes, and he's like really dapper. Yeah, because he's going through the town and he sees the suit and right. he pays thirty dollars to get the suit. Yeah. And uh, uh, but that's before he goes to the mansion. Yeah. I, I think you're talking about the actor's affectations. If you look at all of his movies, his body of work, that's the way he is. Well, so is Keanu time. Reeves. I mean, Keanu Reeves generally plays a beer. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's just the way you know. A lot of actors have their the kind of thing. Well, they I, do, I think it's a I think it's a false positive. That's what I guess I'm saying. Okay. So he's a doer that just so he looks like a doer. Yes. I'm not sure because he, I mean. With Alice, he's very aggressive and taking action. With Angela, she's driving around him around. She's asking him out. Within work, uh, work is doing stuff. But work is the overall story, which that might require the, the character to do something in a different context. But the, right. the, this question is a main character question. That's why it, it's a preference not what they necessarily do. Oh, it's it, what comes first. Or it's what, what they, their, pref their preferred mode of solving problems would be either to do something, and if that doesn't work, then they would try to fit in or change themselves somehow, or change themselves, and if that doesn't work, then try to figure out how to do something to make it work. What about when the police show up at the Vickers and he hops the fence and mm -hmm. runs away? Well. Hold on to that thought. Well, let's go to let's go to the story driver then. Is it action or decision? I don't think he can make a decision. It's not about it. him. Well, well. Story <laughs> driver, not main character driver. Story driver. The, okay. The inciting incident is that um, uh, uh, George is holding a card that says, you know. You know, uh, ask the guy at the front. You know, he basically shows up with the card, 
that says, you know, tell, you know, tell the, the guy at the front gate that, you know, to, to, to call me or something like that. So he shows up with this, you know, the boss wants me to be here. I'm here to see the boss. Um, so that's kind of an action, but then again, or, or is the inciting incident when 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 the uncle says, "I'm you know I'm going to give you a job." Yeah, I'm not sure which counts as the inciting incident here. What sets the part in the motion? Well, um, look to some of the other act turns. It might be a little easier. Well, the girl dies. <laughs> now that that girl dying. I mean, that's that's, that's well. She okay. She gets pregnant. That's, that's a, a big, big act. That's turn. a big act <laughs> turn. <laughs> Uh, the, uncle, cool. um, the uncle as a character, I think, is more furniture as opposed to a character. So well, he helps, helps drive the plot. Well, well, right, but as not as like a, a solid character that is really making decisions. Yeah, maybe. but that's not how decision work. It's not about a character making decisions. It's that there are. It could be a group. It could be a decision is made, or there's someone deliberating. It doesn't have to be a principal. It could be anything. So, so it's like. Decisions are made, actions happen. So the cor the story takes a big turn when she gets pregnant. The story that his that well, sort of one of them is he starts having a relationship with an employee, um, or you know another one is that you know he gets a job. She discovers he, he he sees she's Angela in the theater. Here. When she it's discovers, Alice. Alice. When she reads Alice. the newspaper. And right. Sees it. When she no. When she, when she reads. Yes, yeah, she sees the newspaper. Because sure. that's when she He's, decides to go up there. He you know, it. there there are these major turns. The one when, of course, he gets captured. That's the that's the last act turn before you have the court. And the last act. Right. And mm -hmm. then ultimately it sort of you know he gets. Well, what's axed. interesting is that the well true right, but because I was. Watching this, it's like, oh, is the movie going to end after the jury verdict? And it didn't. It didn't. It didn't end there. You still had the right. But but then you, it's also okay. Well, the governor governor was not moved. So okay, so he's not going to get a stay. Well, okay, and so it's like this. Yeah, it ends on a note of dead man walking, right? I mean, right. It just didn't show the end. Just like they didn't show the end of the future. Right. But it's essentially when he gets electrocuted, the story is over. Um, so, but the, the my point being is that the whole thing about jumping over the fence and all of that, that had more to do with this because that was the overall story. That's the big picture. It had nothing to do with his personal life. That was him, you know. That was the the guilty party running away. That wasn't because of a decision. It was because they found the body and, you know. And then they were able to track him down. Um, and he saw the police car there. Um, and you know, the angel in the sleeper guy going, she walks in on him playing pool, so that's an action. Right, right. I mean, the, the, the fact that he shows up and then they, you know, is what gives him, gets him a job. His uncle decides to give him a job, but that would not have happened if he hadn't quit his job and showed up at the, you know. Or a chance meeting in Chicago, I think he said. Yeah, we didn't see that, though. So, okay. you know, you can keep on going backward and backward, but the part with, that's in the movie is when he shows up and has, hands the card and, and is then, you know, is mixed, and the receptionist or secretary says, here, talk to him. Yeah, that that pretty much that that point is when the uncle decides. Oh, why don't you come on over? And then when he says, Oh, and why don't you? And he shows up. Oh, why don't you give a job? And you know, so and he happens upon him. Oh, well, let's do let's move you up to a different position. You know, it always seems to be preceded by some action that the the decisions that are that are um, following that. I mean, there are some. It's not. It's not a one for one, but the the, the larger ones seem to be more of that nature. Um, so, how about a time lock or option lock? I know there's no deadline, so it's not necessarily it's time lock. Well, if it's an option lock, what are the options? Can I get an abortion? Can I kill her? 
by Well, Julie. this is the story, so not, just don't don't say it can't I, because that's okay. taking it very subjectively. Well, okay, so George has some baggage. No, even use George. Say, what would you label him as? Well, he's... The poor relation? Yeah, the poor relation is climbing that's the fine. social ladder, and he's got some baggage that could really tear him off the ladder quickly. So the options are figuring out how to get rid of this baggage as soon as possible. Uh, abortion is one of those. Well, it seems to me that the, the goal, though, those aren't the goals. I mean, it's, those aren't the things that are tied to the upgrade to climax. The things, he seems to be going toward, I want it, I want this woman, right? I want to love my life. Mm -hmm. so the, social climber, the social climber, the social climber, no, the social climber mm -hmm. wants wants to be part of the, the upper echelon. And then you have all, then once she's, once they actually start their relationship, the social climber basically has a, a, a relationship against company policy. That's when the inequity really begins, really. Because at that, up to that point, there really is nothing, there's no yeah. conflict. Mm -hmm. The minute the two of them run into each other in that theater, which is in action, that's when it starts to move down that path that ends up in murder and, you know, and, and uh, execution. So it's, it's that, that uh, so once that inequity has begun, it's, that's all those different pieces are tied to that inequity. The, and and actually, the out. final option that he exercises is actually telling the truth, um, in in the trial, which but but still too little, too late, and then it's a failure. So that you know, um, that so that's why I do think it's an option lot. Because the final option is just tell the truth. I think the mm -hmm. final well, yeah, sort of they kind of make the final option the the the, the governor, but that's not even really thrown. In. That's sort of thrown out. At that point, <laughs> so it's a really weird one. It's kind of like the idea of clemency should have probably introduced earlier. So at least there was. Isn't the jury ju the jury verdict actually the optional in the story? I mean, once once they say he's guilty, that's the end of the story. The rest of it's all like an epilogue. Sort of. Now it's main character and relationship for a line. Um, all right, outcome, success, or failure? As long as he's alive, he's alive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Failure because? I have to ask. Because he fell off the social ladder. <laughs> Wait. He got his there, was, there was no social integration, right? He does not successfully integrate in the higher social class. And judgment, good or bad? Uh, no, I don't think he's. he's <laughs> I think he's going to feel 100,000 volts. <laughs> right. <laughs> he is deeply honest when he talks about you know, I have as good as children in my own family. So he grows in some sense of. He can't sure, but what, where, what, is he he, what does he say to her? What does he say to um, Angela? Love me for as long as the time I have left, and, and forget me, and then forget me. Yeah. So I uh, don't think he's really. This is not, not a really good place. Yeah, I don't think he's thrilled. No, it's not like he's gonna forget as he walks off and we see that her face superimposed over his head. Over and over again. <laughs> no, but I mean the last shot. You know, he's he's going to his death and he's still thinking about it. Right. You know. So. And the original story was called an American tragedy. Right. The remake of the American Dredge. So, right. bad. Yes, but you have to still illustrate why. Yeah, just, know. you know, just saying, <laughs> oh. all right, how about problem solving style? Linear or holistic? Is he a linear problem solving problem solver? Okay. He's pretty linear. Because everything he does from the time he starts out, the. Uh, Going to uh, getting the job to how he wants to fix uh, the problem with his girlfriend to how he ultimately fixes his girlfriend by letting her drown. Uh, well, and even even calculating that, it's like 
Oh, she, um, well, he no, didn't. She, somebody. She, she, she said something about oh, someone died, died a year ago. Yeah, right. Oh, and, and and oh, don't don't go swimming that. on the beach when the beaches are on patrol. Hmm. Yeah. You know, right. Know how to swim. And she doesn't right. know how to swim. Right. So exactly. it's, it's, right. Those aren't those aren't disparate things. Those are all directly connected. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and that to do the do something. Well. The writer did all that work. Right, right. But it wasn't. It wasn't like he was trying to find out how all these things were connected. It's just they were in a fell the right now. Right, was left. Yeah. Okay. Let's um. Let's. Do we want to talk about main character resolve at this point, or wait well, a little bit? Knowing that it ends up failure bad. Um, no, I don't. Want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> you can, but I'm not. Well, okay, let's talk. Okay. <coughs> Angela, she changed her steadfast character and why? As the influence character. Steadfast. Steadfast and why? Is she loving him in the game? She wants to be loving Okay. Even though he's on the road. Right. He's still on his own. Like, he okay, so she loves him. Right. <coughs> now, is love the the issue? And that's what when we get down to whatever the problem is, that'll probably help us tell who's structurally we'll be able to, may be able to see who's a change of step best character better than subject matter wise. She certainly seems to be a step best character. He seems to be a changed character in that he has sort of realized that all the things that he was sort of telling himself he was just sort of lying to himself and sort of like, okay, I, I really am guilty. Because he, he saw himself as being innocent and innocent and innocent until the last question about, you know, what, what were you thinking when you're in the water and she's drowning? Who are you thinking of? And that would really make a difference. If you're thinking of, of Alice, then then you're, then that's, you know, you, that's a, that was a good thought. If you're thinking of the other woman, then you may not have actually killed her, but you were you wished her dead, and that was and that made you guilty in your own mind. Save her. Right, you could have. Right. Uh, Angela, I don't see any person. I don't see any change in her personal philosophy on life. Right. And he takes care of my speeding tickets. I play all day. But that's what? not where that's not where she has the influence. It's not her money. It's just sort of her unconditional love. In spite of her money, you know, mm. I think that that's the thing that he's not used to because the kind of thing he's getting from Alice is a completely different kind of. He's, he's it's very physical, and it's emo not really emotionally driven at all. On her side, it is, but not on his. Does he know that she has unconditional love? At that point, and at which point? At the point where he goes to kill Alice, because obviously, if he thought she loved him unconditionally, why would he be so set on murder? Um, well, he wasn't set on it, but I mean, he also yeah, was looking at his own interests over that of, of Alice's, and that's really where the guilt and innocence was. Is the difference between, you know, you intended to do it. Something happened, and you allowed it to happen. That's guilty. Right. But where I'm getting at is if Angela is an influence character, and because of his unconditional love, it's basically implied. I don't see that he knew that. No, but that's not when he changed. The, 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 in the water, that wasn't where he changed. So when did he change? And when he was talking to the pastor at the end. Or the priest, or whatever he was. But even then, she came after that. Her living was after that. Right, so that we could see she was a steadfast character. In other words, it was proof she did not change. And it mirrored his, which was, I love you unconditionally, I love you unconditionally, I love you unconditionally, I love you unconditionally. I love you for now, but, you know, forget me. You know, so I, because he wants, he wants her to do anything for her, and in the end, he's basically letting her go. And telling her, move on, which was okay. not where he was, even up to the up until that last moment. You know, he didn't really put himself in a position where 
he saw himself guilty in any way. And once he seemed to recognize his complicit, his sort of his lack of action, is being seen sort of as murder. Then that changed, I think, how he felt about himself, and he did not want that person to be with her because he he now felt like he was you know, the murderer. But he, he, didn't, he didn't think he was up to that point. Even after he'd been, you know, accused. I mean, found guilty. It wasn't until that scene with his mother and the, and the priest. Or whatever. Okay. So how about the domains? Anybody got any uh, ideas? What jumped out at me? I, this thing, when I, when I look at the main character, uh... On the one hand, he, you know, on the domain level, I was kind of thinking he seems to belong in a situation. He's, you know, the boss's nephew, blah, blah, you know, he's, you know, concerned about his status and everything. But on the concern level, the, you know, the contemplations, the the impulsive response of the memories, the innermost desires, I, I just that seemed to re that le on that level, it really seemed to resonate strong. That's another problem. Why, you know, I'm having a hard time picking do or be or two. Um, because I feel like it's one of those two. Um, um, right. So, no, I, on the domain so level, I see situation. On the concern level, I see. Except I think it, I think if you if you if you look at it, whereas he's not as concerned, he personally is not as concerned with his situation. However, her status absolutely. Influences him. Okay. Alice. Alice's yeah, situation. No, not Alice's. I'm sorry, Angela's. 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 Angela's status is the thing that challenges him. That's why we always, Whereas always he's try got, to avoid having two major characters. Or the, the sorry, same same matter. Matter. Yeah. <laughs> right. Alice and Angela, and they basically yeah. fulfill similar functions. <laughs> not exactly the same. One's objective, one's subjective. But I think that's what's going on is that. Because he has no problem saying I came from this, you know, this is where my history is. You know, this is what I did. This, this is who I am. That's that. That didn't seem to be thing that was defining him as, you know, where he saw problem with him. It seems more like he sees, you know, he's got his eyes set high, and. Um, He's willing to, you know, and he's like, okay, eyes on the prize type thing. Right, which um, from the opening scene, he sees the girl in the in the convertible, and yeah, right. And then the jalopy pulls up. I think it's it's completely intentional that, you know, you, there's that contrast between you know haves, have nots, and he's in the have nots category. By the way, it's a truck, not a jalopy. A jalopy is a car that's and that was uh, modified. Back into then. a truck. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's a truck. All right, a truck. See, to me, jalopy just means an old vehicle. But okay, sorry, I stand <laughs> correct. It was a it was a really you know sort of a depression era truck. It looked like that. It was a farmer's truck actually. Yeah, it looked like a taco truck for some tacos. Yeah, <laughs> the, no, bird, the birds are still there, yeah. ready to be cut up into tacos. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so I think that you know, he's you know once he saw from you know when he found out oh his rich relatives wanted to come, he's like okay, I'm gonna do whatever's necessary to make this happen, and sure I'll box underwear or I'll stack boxes of underwear, whatever it takes. You know I don't mind. But first time he lays eyes on 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 uh, Angela, especially when he sees her like at the door, that's who he has interested. From that moment, that's where his, his he personally is like that's what I want. He's pretty fixed. That's yeah. my innermost desire. Big time. Yeah. Big time. And he's just and and I think because. You know, as a beer, 
And he did, and he, Montgomery played pretty much almost always played beers. But as a beer, which is one of the reasons why I think women really like him, mm -hmm. I completely don't get it, but mm -hmm. women, women like him. Um, I think that, you know, it's that everything is all this passion, all this stuff is bubbling up inside, but he's, he's But you never know incapable. what it is exactly. Yeah, well, you know, because basically those around him tell him, tell us what he's thinking. Yeah. 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 It was James Dean before James Dean came around. No, they're, they're about the same time. Yeah. Oh, I thought he yeah. came around in 55. Yeah, uh, he was two about studios three then. years before James Dean. Right, but they were, four but they were also, he was still, he was there until 66, so. Yeah. Well, I mean, they, they, they overlapped. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Not for long. <laughs> yeah. Sure was. Okay, so I mean. Both method actors. Right. right. So, I mean, if you had the main character in Dick's Attitude and the influence character in Situation, again, and of course for her, her situation doesn't, is really, she doesn't, it's of no consequence to her, but it's that. Stat that status, that is the thing that challenges him and forces him to have to, you know. And Alice has a situation also that has an impact on George. Pardon? Alice has a, has a situation of being pregnant. Yes. It has an impact on George as well. As also being a um, an employee. Co-worker. Co-worker, right. So it, it it does That's work really challenging. Hmm? No, she doesn't challenge him, and but she does challenge him in the overall story. Right. Um, so in the so now we have to place the relationship in the overall story in one or the other. Where do we see conflict coming from? I mean, in the overall story. Okay. Yeah. Which which domain? Um, I was, I was thinking of the relationship stories, activity, and the world all sorts of relation, um, because more of the psychology of cross and moving family members around and nepotism and stuff like that, you know, certain amount of dysfunctionality and who gets promoted and how, and how we look at different classrooms. Mm -hmm. What about, um, for overall story in manipulation where we have looking at the four things um, changing one nature there's people are concerned about his social integration being able to change his nature from a poor boy to a socially yeah like, yeah exactly yeah playing a role in the meantime and um, developing a plan to uh, elevate him along the social ladder and conceiving in terms of problem. <laughs> yes. But, <laughs> or not. Yeah. Yes. And then, and then conceiving an idea and how to but deal how is with it, problems. But it's the problem. But it's the problem because that that would be my guess too. Would be a guess. But what if? But are the problems in the overall story psychological or are they activities like he's messing around with? And he's not supposed to be. That's an act, That's a. Those are. Those are well, The problem mm -hmm. comes around. Especially if you think of the result of that. If you include Alice as an influence character during part of it, especially the part where she starts having it, I think she she falls falls into it. Yeah. But if you think of the conceiving thing, I'm not conceiving the the getting pregnant, that is an obtaining in, in a I want to get rid of and yeah. and uh, mm -hmm. you know, but is again is that the overall story or is that part of the relationship? Well, mm -hmm. that's. No, no, no. no. I, I, I'm just, uh -huh. I, I'm just putting it out there. I'm not trying to dictate it. I'm trying to. No, because it's more objective in nature. So then, that's what you're looking at. Is you're looking at the problems. The relationship is part of the overall story, not the relationship. Uh, Alice. Core relation. Yeah, the relationship with Alice is part of the overall story, not part of the relationship through them. I, so what you're seeing with them messing around and having an office affair and all that stuff. That's stuff he's not supposed to be doing, which causes conflict, which is why he has to kill her, which is more activities. Okay, what, when you're looking at the, uh, the relationship for one, the subjective story, um, you're not looking at two people who are like, have these, you know, 
wildly different philosophies. What, what you've got is that uh, 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 it, you've talked sometimes that there's the, you know there are sort of like destructive relationships and constructive relationships. Or, or one where, where things are being, you know, you're breaking things down or you're building things up. And it seems like this is a relationship that's building up. Right. That's, that's, that's starting from zero and right. growing into something. And when I, when I, and so it's not so much that there's a conflict, but where, the, the way in which the relationship is growing, I think, is through activities. Um, through the, you know, walking around the lake and, 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 Getting on the boat and then all the rails just follow and they zip around. You know, the or jumping in a car, right, taking right. off. That's, that's, that's all. You know, everybody. That's the, two, the time they're together. The thing is, I think what yeah. happens is, is that if you think of the again, this is the relationship. This isn't one or the other. Right. It's the relationship. And the one thing you could say is that the other woman threatens the relationship. And and. The, the secretiveness or whatever, the, the strained relationship that it has to do with that other thing. But what is the biggest problem in the, with her being pregnant? Her being pregnant in and of itself isn't the problem. It's the social stigma. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. It's not a physical problem. Mm -hmm. It's a social problem. Right, because it's like, why so, not? You know, I mean, first of all, there's, there's, it's a time period. But even more so than that, it's like, oh, my God, what will my uncle think? What will... You know, right. what, what will, you That's know, why in a conceiving parents, sense, it's not conceiving the baby, it's conceiving that I'm sleeping with somebody else or that you can't let anybody know what's happening. You can't, you know, it's, it's got to be, you know, we can do it, but we can't have anybody find out about it. So it's not the, the physical element of it, it's the social element of it. Which is why it would be right, and, and, internal, but, but also, not an external problem. But, but the poor girl, Alice, as an objective character, her psycho her psychology personally is playing a big part of the uh, playing a big role in the plot. You know, yes. try, trying to compel him to, to. I mean, you know, perfectly justifiable, especially given you know the time in the mores of the fifties. But but still, her psychology is driving the plot. Yeah, extent. and she is the thing that is preventing him from succeeding. And it, and once she dies, they, basically Raymond Burr steps in and continues that role, mm -hmm. sort of for her. Mm -hmm. Right, but I mean that's it's that's really the thing that's that is that can torpedo his ability. That'll basically make it end a failure, as opposed to him have success and integrate. And be fine. She is from the beginning. The minute they, you know, start flirting, she's the that poison pill to him. I'm not saying that she's wrong. It's just that in the story, it's shown that this is going to bring him down. Mm -hmm. You know, from even though he was complicit in it, it didn't matter that <clears throat> that part of because society frowned on that. You know, nowadays it'd be like, you know, whatever. There are all sorts of things, but the the social side of it, it would be like. <laughs> You know, if, screw you. <laughs> Can you hear me? So I think, yeah, I think you're right. I think it is the overall story in psychology or manipulation with the relationship and uh, the activity. You know, which I think also you get, I think a little tiny bit of Alice, the very beginning part of it, the first part of the relationship, might be a stand-in for it, but it'll, I'm not sure. You know, stand-in for the subjective story. Yeah, I'm not sure. It didn't. It didn't feel like that. Well, here, here's a, here's the question. Okay, so that arrangement predicts that the main character growth is stop. Right. So if he's a change character, he needs to stop. Uh, and that certainly is consistent with his behavior with her, because he's the one who is. If he is his own problem. Right. And he hangs it on pursuing. You know, well, each of those things is like he needs to pull back. It's he's not going to be able to grow, and then he finally does at the end, and then he's able to, to sort of not be at peace, but at least come to an understanding of his behavior. It changes, but it's too little, too late, too. Right, that, right, and it really doesn't. Even though he theoretically changes for the better, it's kind of like he changes, but the relationship's still there. He tries to he tries to kill the relationship. It's still there, so he 
really is it's unresolved. The inequity has not gone away. Yeah, the consequences of these actions are still going to be around. Right. Okay. So when Attica answered that question, by the way, what was that? Stop. Yes. Yeah. Beer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so let's uh, bring up the software, and we can. Yes, it, it it identified both stop and beer, but not the resolve. <laughs> no. No, but you want to go in and play with the, the signposts? Go ahead. No, I might forget. That. <laughs> no, I think we will not do that. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I'll let the software do that. Mm -hmm. So uh, we had linear sort of action, <laughs> option lock, failure, bad. It definitely wasn't, and it also didn't have the feeling of a personal triumph story. <laughs> Overall story of manipulation. And in character, we said it was your attitude. Okay, so that brings us down to 128 story forms, and you see there's the, the growth and approach. Growth is stop, approach fear, those are collected for us. Um, now let us talk about the domains, um, the, the concerns, rather, in our the theme browser. We can look at Okay. All right, so we've already had some discussion about innermost desires, changing its nature, obtaining. Um, mm -hmm. uh, in your relationship, it was obtaining in uh, the main character through line, we've been talking about innermost desires, possibly, or changing its nature, which would also put the future in um, Angela's. As Angela's concerned, do we have what other other um, choices do people see? Are you okay with those, or do you come up with more examples to support some of that? Or I mean, obviously, at some point, all of them are going to show up. But which are the ones that are persistent from beginning to end? As I was watching the movie, I, I was feeling that from the main character in particular, just I felt like concentrations seemed to play. It, you, you could see all the different points. You could see the impulsive response, especially at the point when he's sweating and he, you know, for uh, hours. Memories you see at the end. It's probably his final, you know, signpost. But, um, I, but I don't know. I, uh, contemplations jumped out at me a little. That uh, he's, um, you know, uh, he, he's trying to figure out, you know. Um, it's constantly contemplating, thinking things over, trying to you know decide what to do. Um, not a strong argument, but he, he <laughs> is. But also, but the innermost desire is really what's driving him because he sees uh, Angela oh. right at the beginning, all the way through the end, mm -hmm. and that the conflict between Angela and Alice are he, is what sends him into swirls of contemplation. Because he really wants one, he's stuck with the other, and then he's like, ah, what do we do? What do we do that? Yeah. Yeah, the question is, is that when he's, if you're, if he's dwelling on something, that's kind of part of fixed attitude. Mm -hmm. Whereas, what is the nature of what he seems to be dwelling on? Is it having to do with his just, just, you know, about thinking? Or is it, you know, about contemplating something? Or is it really about his heart? What seems to be, you know, his, what his feelings are, his fears, his desires. Yeah, to mm -hmm. me, that's in your most desires, I, I see. Um, and that would put manipulation in changing one's nature, which would be, as the overall story, integrating the, in, into the social status. You also could look at that as, as Alice, uh, you know, wanting to become, she gets pregnant, she also wants to get married, but it's a changing. Yeah, marriage. she wants him to settle down, which he's fed in both. Right. Uh, and then the future with um, Angela. Well, it seems like that she just she just wants to spend the rest of her life with 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, they, yeah, they want to get married. Or, and I, she's I impactful in that she she's what he sees her as the future, or I mean, she sees herself as. No, I think it's the fact that she, you know, she says that this is where you know I want. That's the thing that just amazes him. Mm-hmm. I guess, you know, he didn't he doesn't say it practically. And, you know, he's afraid to say it, and she's like, "I'm going to tell you, I need him to." Right. My <laughs> Mary's yeah. like, "Have I told you?" He's like, "Yeah, yeah, we're gonna get married. I'm going to marry you." Um. I was supposed to say that. Um, I was, although I, I don't know, maybe it's a benchmark or something, but uh, it seems like that's a lot easier. To, uh, I'm straining to illustrate the other things. So. Well, can we rule out the past, understanding memories, and developing a plan? Yeah, yeah that does not seem to fit. How about how things are changing, doing impulsive responses for the main character, and overall story of playing a role? Definite signposts, but not overall things. Right. So, um, so we are thinking it's, you know, it seems to, well, let's go down into, into the activity domain, the relationship, and do we see things more in the thematically in terms of approach and attitude, self-interest and morality in the relationship, conflicts in the relationship, or prerequisites, preconditions, strategy, and analysis? Or I can pop over to the overall story. In our overall story, we're looking at rationalization, obligation, commitment, responsibility. I mean, yes, you know, think about what's her name, yeah, Alice, and yeah. as well as the uncle and the and the mom. But look at the under conceiving um, permission, the permission, permission, need, and expediency. Permission is big. The expediency, you know, it's it's the social climbing aspect of it. Deficiency uh, is not bad. You do see. You know, the obviously deficiency versus permission. Um, you illustrate those. Well, you know, he's uh, well permission obviously because you know he's not permitted to to flirt, you know, fraternize with okay. the employees. Okay. Permission from um, Alice. Permission from the father. Right. 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 Central father-in-law. Like permission from. But here's the thing. But deficiency in that he's you know he's completely deficient in every. I mean he's. He's he, he's you know he's got no friends he's got no you know I mean he doesn't dwell on it but he sort of fills you know fills in you know he starts seeing a girl because it's like well it's like I have nothing else going on in my life so mm-hmm. you know but it's it's but that, that's why it's the counter to to permission he's trying to you know fill uh, you know fill that deficiency um, you know you do see expediency and need although permission and deficiency that pair seems really strong. Um, but you know, uh, um, so I anyway, I don't know if that's a stronger argument than rationalization. Well, let me let me do this. Let me I'll, I'll go into the story guide and I'm going to narrow it down to a couple of choices so that we don't have we have two choices, not just the one. So well, so we have the overall story for the concern. And let's say we want we said it's changing one's nature or conceiving an idea. Mm-hmm. So now that narrows it down to um, you know the possibilities. Um, so that we pop back up to the top. These are not going to be these are going to be seen as benchmark as signposts. I'm just curious um, if what if the, in the overall story oh. And the main character impulsive responses was the third act, the one that's that's in the boat. It'd just be interesting to see if that how that plays out. What does that end up doing? Um, Makes it benchmark. And uh, let's. Uh, so we look at our signposts. It has wow, it's like all signposts. And Chris has contemplation there. Um, other information, you know, and the overall story would be playing a role, changing one's nature, conceiving an idea, developing a plan. The main character, I think, the memories yeah. was stronger at the end when he's separated from Angela and remembering her. 
and then write all, all the errors. Um, well, that's kind of the the denouement. That's like the last bit. That's not really the whole act, though. The whole act is the part where. Mm -hmm. um, well, again, contemplation works for that. It's just what it, what it was when. Right. What, what memories, what were examples of memories anywhere else in the Oh, well, the development of plan actually does, if you think of it as a, as a courtroom, you know. I'm looking at benchmark for the influence character, too. It comes up the past for the influence character. Uh, let's see. It comes up with, no, the influence character comes up with how things are changing. Mm. If you have the signposts where uh, signpost three is impulsive responses, and the benchmark for the overall story is playing a role, for the main characters, impulsive responses, or your main character is well, we don't have concern yet. Your main character is always hit fast. That's interesting. Yeah, like said, post, side side posts side will, off, will often predict that. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Well, so if we, let's say, okay, if we do, yeah, so he has changed. Then, the then that's where the benchmark is the past, right? That's yeah, right. which makes no sense. No, it really doesn't. Really, there is no past for her to know of. There's no past. Just, just no. a rich girl for the present. We, uh, mm -hmm. I mean, I don't. But between the two, and for him, I got to agree that he's the closest thing to a changed character. To me, you got two steadfast characters, and that's the problem. I don't think he really. He didn't go changed. through the paradigm shift. No. Yeah, that's why. That's why it felt like there was a beat missing at the end. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. We were waiting to see him get fried, but at the same at the same time, it's like, well, we knew he was going to get end up in the chair, so we didn't need to see that. But it still felt like, well, even if the trial, the he thinks he's telling the truth. Yeah, I no, no, it's, it's only the, the priest that the leads OS him to come to a different different result, yeah, or a different result, or a different way of looking. So it's not like he's he, just lying to himself. He's saying, I'm going to tell you the truth, you know, this thing happened, and I can't well, tell you actually, why, it, but we already I didn't have concerns. concerns. I, I started to, I was going to kill her, but then at the end, I changed my mind. Now, that's a very unique defense, mm -hmm. and one that would never win in any court. And it didn't. <laughs> and it didn't, of course. <laughs> but yeah, but nevertheless, the point is, is that he's constantly. You know, looking with the, you know, he's, he's constantly yeah. contemplating. Yeah. And that's he, all he, he ever does. He's contemplating. Anyway. And, and, you know, can we say that on the boat? Yes, well, let me ask you this. Is there any way to interpret Angela as a changed character here? Keeping in mind that it's a tragedy story, which implies, not, that it's not necessarily tied together, but it tends to imply that. Whoever changes changes for the worse, and whoever steadfast is kind of on the wrong side of things and stays on the wrong side of things. Is is there any way to in terms of their relationship between each other? Is there any way to? I wish I could watch that last scene again, but to consider that there's any change in Angela's. I don't think so because when he no. says when he says, you know, when I'm dead, I want you to forget me. She mm -hmm. does not buy into that at all. No. No, she specifically says oh, wait. Well, let's look. Let's look back at the. Um, let's go down a little bit deeper, since we sort of narrowed it down to. Also, keeping in mind that an impact character, when an impact character is the change character, that tends to be underplayed, sometimes even off screen. So I don't know if that. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Is there any way to interpret? Could we interpret that um, George's change is on on the boat? 
at the very end because he's all sweating and then she stands up and all of a sudden he's like, now I want to protect you and sit down. And Not gone. according to the way the story is structured because they, they pretty much undo that by the comment with the discussion with the pastor. Because that's really, you know, if that was, you know, were you guilty in your heart or not? And if you're guilty in your heart, then you're guilty. That was sort of the, that was the message. I don't think it was necessarily earned, but it was clearly the message that they were trying to send. Yeah, it was really that's kind of said, stupid. Yeah. You could be thinking of the other girl, but still trying to save Alice. But if you don't try to save Alice because you're thinking of the other girl, that's what the, that I was guess the that's what he was getting. Yeah, at, no, that is what he's kind getting. Of at. You contemplated her and you essentially let her go. Right, mm -hmm. because you were thinking of the other woman. Mm -hmm. Right, that that well, was the natural. Happy. And he's always well, and he was always thinking about the other woman. Yes, mm -hmm. always. That's why. It, that's why Alice really isn't that influence character because she's the one who's always on her mind. Hmm. Okay. Well, can you hear me? <laughs> can you hear me? I'm, I'm focusing on the quad right now. Certainty, potentiality, acceptance, and non-acceptance. Okay, so you're on the conceiving idea. Un under permission. And I, I, there's, I, I, I feel like potentiality um, uh, I, I feel like potentiality is, is, is a big driving force somehow. That there's this great, you know, he's got this great potential. He's got this great potential to be, you know, in the social classes, to, to be married to this classy, you know, beautiful, well-bred, rich girl. Uh, and, uh, um, uh, the, the, and, and the reason he, he wants to get rid of the other girl is because it's, you know, it's, it's blowing all that great potential. Um, and if he, if he is to change character, then that's you know then then that would be you know the shared problem. Um, uh, and then if you're looking at potentiality on you mean, the main character side, potentiality as the problem. Yeah. yeah. And then when so when, at the end when he's like, "There's only one thing I'm certain of." So yeah. Right. I, yeah. Yeah. That's that, funny because yeah, I was that, thinking the other thing for the main character, so I was happy that you said potentiality. Uh, and I. Let's see, reaction. Oh, interesting. I, I kind of for for symptom and response. It'd be react. Symptom is reaction, and the response is proaction. I mean, for the main character. For the main, main character. character. Um. Uh, possibly. Oh, we haven't decided whether this changes like that. Oh. Okay. All Assuming right. Well, change. If we assume, if we go, if we assume he's a change character, which he's, like, you're arguing change. You know, yeah. if you I make him, a, if you make him a, a steadfast, how things are changing. I don't see that in her either. No, I, I mean she's well, not judging that at all. She's, she's not a terribly well developed character. No, and she goes from zero to one hundred, and she stays at one hundred miles per hour the whole way through. Yeah. And the first time she sees him do a bank shot. Okay. Really, the only way I can say you've got you know the the past as the is a benchmark. Um, either it's almost like I mean if if you look at if you look at um, Alice as the past, but that's not really. He sees the really past. Weird way of mm. He sees the past when he's out with Alice and he goes back to the group of singers. He's reminded of how he was raised by the boy that stares at him. That's part of the beginning. Yeah. Pretty early on, and then he sees the past again. He's on the phone with mom, and the answer is right there, kind of teasing him about it. How about this? She she constantly is running with the up and upper crust in society. The, death, the fact that she's now gone to the other side of the tracks to go for him have anything to do with that. She hasn't. She hasn't given up anything. No, I mean that's the thing is that that that's the whole point is that this for her it's it's a this is not an instance where 
you have an influence character that's trying to influence the main character. It's just their very existence is the thing that's driving, that, that's forcing the main character to have to deal with their personal stuff. Um, the question is, you know, I think if you look at potentiality as, as the main character problem, which again is the source of drive, but it's also the source of conflict. Um, you can see that as once he made contact with his rich uncle, suddenly motivation sprung up mm -hmm. because now there's this potential that did not exist before that. There was just no likelihood. And so suddenly you've got this very driven young man who wants to better his himself. He's a lot in life. And yeah. Uh, well, you pick potentiality in the number one story. Right. And I think that um, you know, the with reaction as the symptom and proaction as the response for him. Were we thinking about it? Or was it with you, Jim? I can't remember the two of you were looking at that and saying, oh yes, that's good. I mean, he certainly, the one thing is that he does seem to want, he does seem to be more proactive. I think that may be where we're seeing the sort of the doer type of thing, because he definitely wants to be more, you know, where he steps into the groups to try to participate. But as a beer, he's doing it by putting himself out, out there, but just not doing things, just sort of being a certain way. Well, I, I guess the question here is when, if you say, yeah, when you, when you, but when you talk about a, a main character symptom of reaction, does he, is he perceiving the problem being someone else's reactions or his own reaction? I think it's a lot of his reactions. Yeah. Okay. I think that's, and, and, but also for his own reactions. I mean, look, you know, he's got this, he's got this personal problem with this baby thing. And that is a that's been impinging on him personally. And, you know, he's having a real hard time with his reaction. Because they're kind of going they're tearing him back and forth, you know. He wants to go one way, he wants to go another. It's like, right. And she's you know, she is saying, you know, you know, we you know, let's get you know, her reaction to the whole situation, he's trying to deal with it. He, and he even takes her to the to the, the city hall or whatever. Turns out they're closed, but you know, and so it's like, so he's 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 trying to be proactively dealing with those reactions, but they're obviously not solving anything. Um, right, right, because that's not where the, it's not. Those are the, he's treating the symptoms. He's not actually solving the problem. Right. So he's dealing with her reactions, um, and and not doing a good job. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you a lot of the other. Let me bring up the report. A lot, a lot of the, if you look at the master story form, a lot of the other issues and problems, solutions, and like that, really went at that on. Well, we have an overall story of manipulation, concern of conceiving the idea, uh, the issue of permission versus deficiency. I mean, I think that that. When you're looking at the overall story, that does seem to be that really has, especially with the work and the and the so acceptance into the for and all that stuff. Uncle gives his information. Father Right, and it looks at because it's coming from a not from a position of oh you you don't have anything you don't offer anything. It's, no, no, you, we'll let you in. We'll give you a job. So the deficiency is always the counter to that, like the. Like the kids, his his cousins going. Well, do we have to let them be part of us? You know, right. gonna, and the wife is it going to fit in? But but the sort of the it's coming from the point of the uncle, but who's like, no, let's he's one of us. Let's let's let him in. So not acceptance versus acceptance. On right the, on the right. surface level. I mean that that uh, works works really well. well. Catalyst of need. I mean, even if you think of need in terms of his. You know, he's alone and he want he needs company and how this one of the reasons why he gets together with um, Alice. I mean 
one of the things that I kept on thinking based on his physical proximity to her and the way he was just trying, I mean, physically almost, you know, dominating her is that this was one horny guy. He had some needs that he really wanted to get, he had an itch that needed to be scratched. And so did she. No, no, I know, but his was the one that seemed to be, was far more aggressive. But here's the thing, her need later in the story yes. is a huge it's catalyst. much more dominant. Right, exactly. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And his wasn't. Um, well, you need to get rid of her. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> what about on her main character, unique ability and critical flaw? The unique ability of appraisal. Oh. Um, well, definitely, I mean, the critical flaw of repulsion. I, you, I think you got that with, you know, what he's done. The problem. The, when he comes in, the country bumpkin-ish type of thing. Uh, uh, you know, other people's repulsion of him. Yeah, I think a lot for him as a beer and as a kind of a passive beer, not passive, not quite the right word. Kind of a um, not a terribly assertive beer. Right? Not passive, but he's just he's not assertive either. Um, because he's just very turned and really turned in, into himself. Um, I think you see there. Are He's afraid of being, when he gets put off, and I think he, I don't know if we see that. Oh, well, not really. Um, well, he, I, I, turning it around to others, social repulsion of, repulsion of him, I see that, man. Yeah. Well, early, yeah. not later. Later, they're like completely. That's not an issue. And about his own repulsions. But how? Yeah, I was going to say, how about his repulsion uh, Alice. towards Alice? Yeah. Or, or that's towards that, that definitely strong. put that definitely sort of slows this down. Yeah, because that's when he, life with her being married and we'll be poor. I'm okay being poor. And like, like, oh no, no, no. no. Go to, he does everything he can to play. Right. right. It's closed. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Mischief by <like> that. Yeah. <laughs> Although, uh, issue of investigation versus doubt. Um, uh, that one. What's his main character? Main yeah. character issue of investigation. Um, that, when that pops up, that always kind of. Well, what does that mean? Mm-hmm. Okay, I mean, you have a little bit occasionally with the, the father-in-law, you know, checking in for him. Oh, okay, all right. Um, well, okay, investigate, oh, well, I mean, it becomes a literal plot point right. later on, but that's, you know, but how does this apply to the main character's thematics? Um, that one well, I think, well, in the, I think the last act, it becomes a big issue. Yeah, yeah. And also the way he handles it. Mm-hmm. He handles it straight up. Mm-hmm. He's not trying to hide anything. Well, no, because he's, he's back to a corner. Yeah. Um, hmm. oh, he could have made, made stuff up. He could have made stuff up. Mm-hmm. If they would have had a hard time. I have to look at the yeah. Usually there's, you know, if you look at the definition, there's... Uh, well, again, the investigation just sounds so logistical that when, when you're dealing with Someone's personal emotional through line is kind of hard to figure out how to apply that. Part word. Of that Gathering evidence to resolve questions of validity. Yes. Does this one cause trouble because the character was predetermined where to look, leading to the meandering path to the other end? And this whole pocket is essentially. So part of it, I think, is he's investigating this upper crust world and missing some crucial clues along the way. Yeah. You're setting yourself up. Or big problems because you go to look at the evidence of rich girl likes me mm-hmm. as opposed to already got a girl pregnant by me. Mm-hmm. Also, I mean, if you think right. about it, you know, his, his, his sort of the uncertainty if he, if what he's doing with his personal time could get him in trouble, mm-hmm. you know, and he's, he's, if, if that really could 
become a real problem for them. So it's, it's not that it necessarily is actively causing them, but the potential for it could really be an issue. Yeah, it's very eager to learn all you can about this culture of humans on the planet. Investigating that world, that, the big city, the, the career path, and all that. What happens if I submit some ideas for that including that? Yeah, it's kind of investigate. Well, investigating potentiality. Mm -hmm. um, relationship. We have activity, gathering information, which is learning. Um, um, uh, yeah, at least a perception of prerequisites. Um, uh, uh, I mean, part of it, you know, I think that might apply to, it's like, well, before you I guess, come up to, you have to come up to, you have to come up to the summer camp, you have to go out mm -hmm. with us, you know, the wind wave. Right, I mean, all these, these little things that he has, like, right. But it even applies, okay. I think, to, it's like, well, he got the suit, okay, it's like, I can't walk and step into this mansion, into my uncle's mansion until I, I look nice enough. And he, I mean, I think even that applies to the relationship because she she steps in and she's all nicely dressed. He's all nicely dressed. He is an East um, uh, You know, and, and again, it's sort of like it helps sets the stage for further, you know, uh, uh, development of that relationship because you know, otherwise she might not have ever given him a glance. Um, uh, the symptom of possibility, I think, is really quite nice because that basically. First starts off with, you know, okay, maybe this is not that possible. I could, I, I mean, it might be possible that I could be, this could be my girlfriend for her and for him from his perspective. So it's a movie so much from his perspective. And, but the fact that it may be, may even be possible just is like, you know, really troublesome because he's got this huge desire for her. And then, you know, making it more probable, suddenly he's like, oh, okay, great, you know, so he doesn't want to tell her that he's in love with her because what if he finds out the certainty is that, no, oh, no, there's nothing there, then suddenly the probability goes way down. And, and, um, and again, in this case, since it's a growing um, uh, relationship, uh, the problem is of uh, potentiality is still the driver mm -hmm. of this. Yeah. And uh, uh, and but if solution gives it sort of gives it closure, in the even even if it sort of ends in a failure, on the on the relationship side, you know the certainty of you know don't ever think about me again, is um, it's over, <laughs> you know, kind of, but you know, puts a period on that. Well, well but it doesn't. I mean, that's the thing is that the, I don't think that is resolved. Yeah. He tries to, but then he's walking to his death thinking about yeah. it. Right, right, yeah. <laughs> You're still, yeah. And she says, I'm still thinking about you, so, yeah, no, that doesn't, that's not resolved. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In that relationship. And then we have our influence character. We have work versus attempt. Or work seems actually to be concerned with the present. That seems to be, she doesn't seem to be looking much outside of the media, just like right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and work is just doing what you're, you know, things that sort of like you normally do, not things that are outside your capabilities and like that's right. Um, right. Unique you know, ability attraction, that's quite nice. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I think that speaks yeah. right yeah. Liz usually had that work. Yeah. What? Yeah, yeah pretty pretty much. Did. Yes. Except those horny bras, not not, not so good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what about the popcorn bra, popcorn top? Oh yeah, that was her, her first day. dress. Yeah. That was very. Hey, strange. give her a break. She was 17 years old. Wow. Really? Wow. How many? That's how awesome. many girls did you know that could fill out a dress like yeah. that at 17? Wow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I would not have thought she was that young. And yeah. only had been married three times at that. <laughs> um, as she said when she she actually kissed Montgomery Cliff the first time. That was that was her second kiss. 
The first one had been was... two weeks earlier. Oh. Oh. <laughs> was that with, what's it? No, that was in two no, I don't know who, but it was, I'm sure it was Mickey Rooney or somebody. Uh, Probably, yeah. Uh, look at the static plot points under cost. I would have thought that would be in the future. Well, his life is in the present. Well, no, this is the overall story. So this is going to be about the social climate. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think anybody's... The only person in the future that would have been, you know... Probably, but where you might have No, what's really interesting about no, that is there's, there's several people's futures. That I think all, most of their future, the family's future, the, the uh, Angela's future, the, his future. Yes, but consider how, in the final act how everything goes south. It, it, there's some really interesting choices made that when, when you know, when uh, George is going to trial, they go back to you know the lake house, um, and it's all like kind of it's empty it's and empty. trashed, right? And and sort of like oh you know you, but you you know what the costs here are? We're not you know we're not living the life that we used to. You well, know we, we're, we, that's, the spot the spot has been spoiled. Yeah. Yeah. That... It is interesting that they made that choice, um, and you know, you know Elizabeth Taylor you know faints on the rug, and and, and it's sort of like you know. You know the enjoyable life that we're you know living in the moment. That's all over. That's you know everything's been ruined now. Um, so yeah, this I think be. that's a really good way of putting it. That they're living in the moment that as the, as the cause. Fine. No, I'm not gonna buy that. One. Again, you look at the that's that's torture. Yeah, that's in there. Again, that, that's a, I, I, I saw that. I thought, that's a really interesting choice, that to show us that shot, that juxtaposition of that empty um, uh, lake house. And, you know, so. After, also, after that point, she's in school, which is kind of like a row, routine, boring life, whereas everything prior to that, it's all like frolicking parties out in the, on the lake. So, right. Uh, she had a change in her life. Yep. Yep. Um, Vivid in contemplation, consequences of learning, and information. Um, <coughs> I mean, yeah. The the yeah, I'm not, I'm not, they're not jumping out at me. Yeah. Well, the passion yeah. memories, I, those are the benchmarks. So all, that group, they're all the benchmarks, and you know, those don't quite feel like it. No, they no. So, I mean, again, it's. it's it it could be, could, again, an issue me? where it's like we're just not sure whether to call this a change or a steadfast story form because it's not that clear. <laughs> so, what if we. Huh? Well, well, let's the try <laughs> the original author. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's let's, let's try the album. other um, the other choice that we had. Yeah. Which was the past. Let's make the let's make the overall uh, the concern um, changing one's nature. Let's just look at that that version. In what? In overall. the overall story. Oh. Well, we have still have with a change, but still with a change, right? Um, so that now. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so then, let's... the past could be a handoff. Let's pop up and let's see. Okay. So now we're dealing with the overall story. We've got uh, rationalization, obligation, commitment, and responsibility. Um, <laughs> How did you change all that? Yeah, I back out and I go into the. Uh, well, you, you can either do it here, back out of the trace tape. That's easier to go back to the master frame. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just I uh, take out the pro, take out the problem element, take out the concern. I was yeah, you're only selected on that one. So that up here a lot. Um. 
Pursue a void seems the closest to anything that. Yeah, but not faith and disbelief. What about mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of temptation and conscience. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Control and control. Um, mm -hmm. Actually, I don't think these really are nearly as good choices. No. Or not. It's sad, but I think we are in the right area. Yeah. Again, I say it's not a perfect story form because I think I, I I have to agree with Carl. I feel like there's two stiff ass characters here. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't quite yeah. this the story form doesn't quite fit what this movie wrote or doesn't quite So if we if we just if we make it a steadfast character, let's just see what our other choices for how they come out. So, um, the benchmarks become progress doing being and impulsive responses. Yeah, which is better. That's a lot better. And the benchmark of the overall story is playing a role. The influence character benchmark is how things are changing. Yeah, relationship, seeing her life go downhill. Yeah, relationship is doing, and mm -hmm. the main character is impulsive response. That I mean, that just sounds a hell of a lot better. So, but so you, but, have, but you, but you might have to. Okay, if we're still going, you might have to change the elements um, to put potentiality as the symptom rather than the problem. I'll only okay. All right, hang on. Induction. Hang on. Induction. Induction and deduction. What are you using as your concern for the overall story? It's the same. The it's overall story, it's still um, conceiving an idea. Oh, I see what you're saying. We need to, if we like our main character being potentiality, we need to change, we need to change that. Yeah, it's the, if that's the that's crucial the element, then he's become uh, something. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that we go with the main character, potentiality. Oh, or, okay, potentiality. All right, does that make sense? Probably Either make it the yeah, issue of need. No, I don't. Where like. is that? Where does this improve things? Oh, this guy. No, I don't. I don't <laughs> like these choices. Yeah. I mean, it has a relationship inhibitor as attraction. Okay, go, go back, go back to, um, go back and, and instead of making potentiality a problem, make potentiality a symptom. All right. Uh, that kept everything else the same. And then it becomes, uh, then it becomes the uh, objective story problem is not acceptance. Uh, solution is acceptance, which is a failure story, so uh, right. non acceptance can kind of. Potentiality uh, and certainty. Right, as a symptom response instead of problem solution. Um, let's see. Influence character, problem is non acceptance, solution acceptance, symptom reaction response, proaction. Relationship, problem is not, problem is not acceptance. The solution is acceptance. Um, I, I don't like this nearly as much. I mean, I like the elements of it. I don't like the problem as a reaction for the main character. Yeah. Well, there you go. I think that what describes this movie is somewhere between somewhere in between those two story forms. And that's that's the change steadfast problem. Because I think the overall story doesn't quite fit where the main character and the other two through lines are, but the big picture doesn't do it. And the cost is still the present. 
No, actually, the cost should be how you things are changing. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. I think the changing. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's the, the, it's the second group of four that's changed. Right. <laughs> requirements playing a role. The prerequisites. Anyway, requirement. Okay. The requirements is playing a role. I, I, I like that. Prerequisite. The requirements doing. The conditions how things are changing. Or why right. the impulsive responses. That's not. So those aren't bad. I, I like yeah. those better. Yeah. We changed, changed, we changed the steadfast, and then we changed uh, potentiality to the symptom. So it's still a crucial element, but um, so we had to change that to fit um, steadfast story Same form. I like the benchmarks a whole lot better. Yeah. Well, static plot points are. That the second group of four are the benchmarks. Um, but the, the first group of four is the same as the other one. As the other one. Right. So conceiving an idea and then. Uh, uh, yeah. 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 Main care, okay, we mean when I did when I, I can get rid of it as the same thing. Just put it as the overall story problem. So what if the main character problem is induction, what exactly does that mean? Because he's okay, induction is uh uh trying to solve a problem by uh uh Taking one bit of data and trying to interpolate that into a bigger scenario, right? And the, the deduction is taking a broader scenario in order to deduce a, a smaller Poss piece of data. And, and, and right? Induction is a method of thought that determines possibility. This is called the deduction, which is certainty. So induction is that something is possible, then that creates the drive. The certainty would then resolve that drive. Right. Which is kind of it's okay. I I don't I don't like it quite as much. But okay. But it doesn't I think it I think it was spoiled. <laughs> Pardon? Our story form is spoiled. What does that mean? We have some that really have matched up so nicely. Well, right. I mean, I think the fact that we will not really, it's really easy to answer so some, of the, quite some of the more basic questions. It's indicative that we're probably going to run into. You know, we ran into a problem with Fletch. So. Oh, yeah. We, yeah. Could, we could not we do come up and, with And older, older comedies tend to have very story light. Yeah. So, well, just yeah. because they're, you know, they're, they're, they're like taking pieces. They're going for yeah. a joke. They're going for a joke, but they're also just like, here's a piece of one story, now here's a piece of another story, and right. they don't quite add, they don't really add up. Exactly. Um, and in this case, I think, you know, I, I, you know, we didn't quite get that final period on the end of the thematic sentence that says, this is the, the moral of the story. And yet, what well, we did it was, it, was, it was told to us that this wasn't the wrong game. Yeah. And yet, the story works. Yeah. Oh, it's a very yeah. compelling movie. Except, she, except the part after the trial's over, then it just sort of it does gradually. Kind of like. I mean, it was yeah, like it's an epilogue. Right, right. It, it's, 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 the story is already done at that point. Mm -hmm. With the exception of him accepting. Well, the overall story is that, yeah, it is not the main decided. character or the relationship. Right. Well, you do have five acceptance and acceptance in you know, this main character version. So, you know, somewhere in that area, it didn't just it didn't quite fall down to a precise, um, completely focused argument. Yeah. 
So, um, and part of it is because the main character was really, but it was very it was interesting. Well, it, 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 well, I wonder it really was. Anybody, any other story we would have said, yeah, we said that. And yeah, because we're looking for evidence. It's really of obvious that the influence character would change. But again, it's one of those things where it's like, you know, uh, if, if, you know, a different model of Dramatica where it's okay to have two step back characters or two change characters, then how would the, you know, dynamics line up? Yeah. Uh, would, would that, you know, different? Well, you have your homework assignment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> failure, like, if the input, if the input is failure, 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 Depends on the story because sometimes failure, you know, success, failure, good, bad are necessarily tied together. Sometimes they're inversely tied together, where you can only have a success, bad, or a failure, good, and sometimes they're hardly connected at all. But you know, Hamlet is, you know, you could argue, you know, Hamlet is a changed character, and you could argue argue that he changes in the appropriate way, but still a tragic ending. Way too late. So a more recent story, if you saw the, the Sam Raimi movie Drag Me to Hell, you know, although you know, it depends on how you analyze it, but that, that ends, you know, I, I she changes in a way that she's supposed to. She finally stands up to, you know, to the person she needs to stand up to, but she still ends up going to hell. So it's you know, in, even though she changed in the you know, supposedly she changes too late. Yeah, or it doesn't make a difference. Right. It's just it's you know fate is going to be you know it's going to play it out. But the theme can't be demonstrated through the influence character says you should change course. He doesn't change course, and that causes failure. And it proves that you should change course. Again, yeah, <laughs> it, it depends. You know, it depends on the, it depends on the story, and, and it, it is tough when you have a a, a tragic ending. You know, what, most of the time when you have a when you have a happy ending. It's because the main character changed in the proper way, and that, you know, caused success. You know, Luke, you know, embraced the force. You know, well, yeah. And that's how it's most. Main character changed. But when you have a, a tragic ending, um, it, it, I don't know. It, 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 you don't see it as often that the, the that the character arc is necessarily, t you know. Causes the, the the ending, you know. They may really? well. That's what I'm saying. In Hamlet, he changes. You know, he finally you know goes from a beer to a doer, but it's too little, too late, right? And it still ends up tragic. Even though that's what he needed to do all along is get out of his head and start taking action, but he doesn't do that until it's way, way too late. So, um, right. well, no, no, he does. He, in, in other words, he changes, but. The problem is, by the time he's changed, the goal is long gone. Right, it's long gone. Now he does kill King Claudius, and that's I mean that's the proof that he's changed because at the very beginning he's handed the information about Uncle Claudius killed your dad, and he doesn't do anything about it. He's given the knowledge, he takes it away. At the end. He's given the knowledge that Uncle Claudius has just poisoned Mom. Does he stop to think about it? No. He just immediately acts. Awesome. You know, he, he kills him. So, I mean, that's how we know he's, he's not well, the same person. Then, then, then is it possible that even though it's, it's a, it, it ends up bad for the story judgment, that it's, it's actually a success? Because it's no, it, no, because, it, because at that point, the whole point of it was. Remember, the goal in that is memory, and it's everybody basically wants to forget King Claudius's, you know, King Hamlet's mysterious death. It's like, let's let's move on, you know, you, let's get married, let's you know, let's and and 
Hamlet's there going, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, hello, you know, we have this great king, all this stuff, and you guys don't want to talk about it. It's sort of sweeping under the rug. That's, you know, this is not good. Right, not so healthy. just the fact that he can't kill King Claudius does not, does not. No, it's unrelated. It's, it's unrelated a, yeah, to this. It, all it is, though, is it, it doesn't really prove. avenge. No, I mean, the, because why is that in the final duel? What's happening in that? He's acting as King Claudius' champion. Hello? Yeah. Somebody's lost sight of the ball at that point. He is completely, you know, he is, that, that goal is long right. sail. You know, he is but not, again, but that's where, that's where the character's arc uh, actually is not tied into the ending. And so that's why, you know. Well, he's not, a, it's, I mean, that's one where it's, it's not a, not a, a, a leap of faith character. There's not a moment where he has to make a conscious choice in one way or the other, and that leaves, that gets tied to success or failure. That's one where he, he has changed over the course of the story, and that's why there's no, oh, it's a failure story, because it's not a, because it's just like a, people lose sight of the goal, and he as protagonist loses sight of the goal, and as a main character, he has changed. So all those things sort of transition over the course of the story. So it's not this like in your face thing, like you know Richard the Third or or Macbeth, um, uh, like where they're very very the the, the failure of Macbeth also is met with the failure of his attempt to usurp the crown, the, you know, the family line. And the same thing with, with Richard III, his attempt to usurp the family, the, the family line, the crown, and, and you know, go down his line. It, it coincides with, you know, him tragically failing. So, but is it, isn't it that's pretty much steadfast? Death is pretty much the best, right? Oh, yeah. 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 So, but again, you know, it, it, it gets down to, you know, okay, if if you have a steadfast failure bad, you know, that implies that the steadfastness caused the failure bad. And well, sometimes people always, true. people always, just, uh, writers always assume that the, the main character resolve is connected to the outcome. They do. You know, just like the judgment is sort of always connected to the outcome. That's why it's always thought of as a tragedy, not as a success, a failure, or bad story, or as it's a happy ending. It's not a success, good story because we just the audience is just blended all together. You know, that it, it's looking at it in the finished work, and because it's in the finished work that way, that's the nature of the causality. It just appears to be the, the causal relationship where it isn't. They're not connected. Objectively speaking, so when you have the baked good at the end, of course it's connected because it's not only at the end, but all the way through the progression of the story that gets you to there. So in that sense, that they are in fact necessary. That's that's so it does look like this thing that one leads to the other, but really, it's one thing exists at the same time as the other in the context of all these other things, and. and Together, they create that ending. Not, you know, not, not, not necessarily that that one of those dynamics is necessarily causal to the other. No, they are. They, they necessarily are not. That's why you can have any any combination. Right. Otherwise, right. you couldn't have any combination of dynamics. They are completely every single possible combination of them is allowable. But, so you but, can have but a within success, the con, but within so you have the a change good and a change bad. Steadfast good and a steadfast bad. So the fact that you change doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work out for you. Right. You know, change bad in Hamlet's case. Steadfast good in um, um, what's his name? Uh, uh, Gladiator. They both die, but you know, dying in one is fine, and the other one it's not fine. So it's there is no there's there are no absolutes. When looking at it, sort of from the God's eye view of an author, but guess, everything yes. appears to have complete absolutes when you're looking at it from the audience's perspective, because this is the way it is. I guess my question is, and 
right, but the date and the photo offline. But the question is, why does if the main characters said that? Why does the impact character have to change? Why can't the two steadfast characters hit up against each other and there's an outcome whether they either of them change or not? Because part of the meaning in a story, and this particular kind of story, there are stories where you can have two, two um, change characters, two steadfast characters. They're not Western stories. Um, but the reason is, is that when you're looking at a dynamic pair, you're going to be basically in order to in order to understand what something what it means to change, you have to see it in the context of what it means not to change. Otherwise, what's your point of reference? You know, something is only changing when you're comparing it to something that isn't changing. Right, because they're both not changing. It, 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 it doesn't then, fall under the definition of a grand argument story. Right. No. So if both things don't change, then what is it that the it's kind of like saying I've got these two completely unrelated events, and something happens. How does it connect to those? How do you, be, how you explain the, the connection between those? <laughs> yeah. No, events happen, sure. But in order to make sense of them, we use certain measurements, you know, certain ways of looking at the world to see how things work. And one of those is what's the immovable object, you know? And if I've got two things that are immovable, well, nothing's going to move. Unless one of them happens to be more immovable than the other. And that force is the one that the other one that appears to be immo immovable actually isn't. And that's usually what it is. It's the, the appearance is at the beginning is that they're both absolutely solid, rock, rock solid, or both fluid. But the reality is, is that within a certain context, one actually is more, more solid than the other. You know, it's better to think of it not in absolutes as you know, change and steadfast, but one is one has a one is more firm than the other. That's the other way of looking at it. The way we, we use the words in here are very binary. The reality is, is it's very analog. I mean, but you need to be able to communicate that binary element of it, even if you soften it with all sorts of other stuff. So how do you take, make something that's a success story less of a success? Well, you throw huge costs on it. That's what's called a pyrrhic victory. Mm -hmm. You know, something that you win, but you know the cost may be way higher than what it is you win. That's how you can turn that black and white success failure into pretty much any shade of gray you want. Or I have a failure, but you throw a whole bunch of dividends in there, and suddenly it's like, well, okay, you know, what I was originally going for didn't work out, but look at what I got on the way. You know, you know I got the winning Glodo ticket. You know, it's just like. That was it happened on the way, and I wasn't planning on it. And certainly, yeah, I didn't get it, the other thing I wanted, but boy, it was a great consolation prize. So the, the, see, that's the nature of all of these things. When you look at them one at a time, they look really black and white. But when we experience them in a story, we really do see them as as harmonics, like we see a happy ending, which is built up of a couple things, or a tragedy, which is built up of a couple things. You know, just like when we have a fish out of water, that you have a doer and a, and a, and a decision-driven story, or a doer and an action-driven story, you get that discomfort of that main character trying to work in a world that doesn't function the way that they prefer. Or you have the ones where they're very comfortable. You know, and those are the... So when we are experiencing this story, those are the things we pick up on. Those harmonics, you know, the chords. We don't necessarily hear, hear each note. We hear the chords, and that's why they always seem to be connected. That's why they change good or success, you know, and all those things seem to be connected when we hear them, because we hear them in the chord, and we don't need to pick them up because it either is resonating and it's working, or it's not resonating and something is out of whack. And we'll always 
pick out the thing that's not resonating as the thing that's not working. So let me ask on this score. Sure. Where at the end we're complete, we're not able to decide 100% whether to change or didn't change. Or, and, and given the theme, which I'm not clear which story form ended up being kind of the, the process, what does it matter if you change the didn't change? What, does that, what would that affect in the argument? I mean, as far as if we don't know that he changed or didn't change, what did we learn? Well, that's the point. We didn't learn anything. Okay. But, except what they told us. And that's usually a big clue is when they have to tell you what the story means, it means that it's not in the story. You know, the fact that they had the influence character disappear for the entire last act was really weird. And it was very, very strange. Um, and it just felt like it's all over overall story and main character. There was just no no heart to it at that point. All the heart was gone. And only when she popped back in did the heart sort of start pumping again. But it was very brief and very vapid and didn't really do a whole lot. And he had sort of already kind of sort of been told what the meaning of his life was as opposed to him sort of understanding, coming to understand it. Um, which is, it's a little ham-handed. I think partially, probably do, the fact that it's an adaptation, and there may have been an awful lot of things that they just really could not do. If you read there. anything other else, you know, the Theodore Dreiser wrote, like, uh, Sister Ray. Uh, Sister Ray. Carrie. No, Sister Carrie. Uh, same way. It just, the end. Just sort of just stops. drags wow. out, and you know, you just watch this thing, and it's like, okay, let's just for the last act, let's just watch tragedy go step by plot and step. And that's the way he that's the way he writes. So he learned to be, you know, true to the way he wrote the novel. That's what's going to come up. Right, and I mean, frankly, the you know the. The part where you start caring about, the stop caring about the story is about when he gets captured. After that, it's just sort of a logistical issue, and you're just waiting for the decision to be made to see what, what's going to happen from then. Because nothing development-wise happens at all during that entire trial. Story, emotionally, personally, pretty much, you know, we're hearing things we already know. We're seeing, you know, there's just there's no new information for us as the audience. Remember, it's really all about us. It's not about the characters on screen. It's really about what what we're experiencing. And so when it just sort of die, dies at that point, um, it makes it very difficult to become re-engaged with it. And you know, they tried to sort of tag a, a you know. Here's what, the, here's what it means at the end, you know, by bringing in that the priest or the pastor or whatever he is, and having him say, so what does this mean? Right. You know, it's like, okay. I thought, I thought they were going to turn it around and make and show that he was innocent. Like, uh, there were some things that happened, like when he got the rope on his, stuck on his right. shoe, or when, they, when the DA gets in the boat, like I was thinking they were going to discover some clue of how, oh, he couldn't have killed her because this thing happened, and now it's all going to be happy again. Yeah. It would have been very unrealistic if they had, but yeah. yeah. There's wow. such a rule. Yeah. Well, to yeah. me, their whole final arc was uh, <laughs> Well, there was an interesting... Seeing him, what he was going to do with his, his pregnant girl thing, and how he was going to tr work that out, if he could, which he couldn't. That was kept me interested. But once she was dead, and then it just became hunting him down. And then once they caught him, it didn't matter to me whether he did think of Angel or Alice or that had nothing to do with the rest of the story, whether right. he was a murderer or not. I mean, right. That's, that's right. That, so that the like, story kind of like stopped. Yeah. That wasn't a different issue. That wasn't a D issue. You know, and of course they they signaled 
first time you hear the, you know, the when he's first thinking about what he's going to do about getting rid of his girlfriend. I mean, my God, the music's so, <laughs> you know, over the top telling you, okay, he's really trying to figure out how to 86 this one. Which one Oscar did. No, I know. No, I know. <laughs> I mean, what did it win for? Did it win Best Picture or no, Screenplay? No, Score. Oh, that's Score. Did they also okay, win no. Screenplay? Screenplay? Yeah. Uh, director? Yeah. But, I mean, it just was, it was one of these things where they were, they were using all sorts of ways to indicate what's going on inside because he's not a talker. Right. He does not reveal stuff, so they had to do it in all sorts of other ways. You know? But, but, you know, his whole thing of hide this fact that he was going to still pregnant, once it came out that he, I mean, not only did that come out, but that he potentially killed her, and yet the family he's trying to hide it from, they're the only people hiring his defense, and she still loves him, so it's well, like but, a very but what strange... He, well, what he said was is that as long as they thought if he, he, that he was innocent, then they would support him. If, they, if he was not, then they would they well, not. Yeah, what I'm getting at is... Which, of course, then at the end, he, just sort of threw out yeah. the... Right. Originally, he didn't even have a murder issue. He had a pregnant girlfriend as his right. problem. Don't let anyone know about the pregnant girlfriend. Not only did they learn about that and still not hate him. <laughs> no, no, you noticed that they didn't bring up the fact that she was pregnant. Well, in the court. In the court. at all. At all. No, right. at all. That never came up. Well, but, Which but, was, yeah. nowadays, would have been very suspect about all that. You know. oh, that's true. Oh, God, I'd have brought that up. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, that would have been, yeah, that that been the headline. <laughs> right. But the family, the Vickers, didn't care. They seemed still, that wasn't an issue to them. It was a matter of what he Well, thinking. because it was only a girlfriend, not that it was a pregnant girlfriend. They, 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 they really were, didn't bring that up. That's a word of point, which they didn't know about. Well, they had the doctor on the stand, but they didn't say what kind of a doctor he was, well, or, and, and or what the testimony was. That's right. That's right. No, they had the OBGYN doctor. Or whatever. That's right. He saw her talking. The abortion doctor. No, he wasn't an abortion doctor. Well, he was a he, he was, was a baby doctor. Right, he's an OBGYN, but he was not done an abortion. Apparently, is what they thought. Well, she was hoping he might, but he wasn't that kind, and. They, but I don't, you know, they didn't even imply that he, because the whole patient doctor confidentiality, they, they didn't even bring that up. I mean, it was not, there was a whiff of it, which of course would have, was that, that additional part of the conflict. It was, yeah, it was very weird because the sensibility was very strange from where we are now. But the idea is that. You know, it it's all goes back to that initial inequity where he ch he crossed the line, you know, professionally and sort of personally, and he shouldn't have. And then this is the big, you know, social. You know, you're going to go, you're going to die because of this. You know, because it's socially and morally reprehensible what you've done. Right. He's still trying to have his cake and eat it too, and that's right. kind of the and argument. It's like. You know, the, the, the argument should have been, you know, you should have manned up from the very beginning and just sort of... And he never did. Right. I mean, at the end, he still didn't, really. And, you know, right. And, and that's and why, if, if they had done something different with, with Taylor's character, she had somehow reinforced that argument that you should have manned up in the first place. And yeah, I may not love you, but at least I would have respected you or something like that. Then that could have indicated... No, I, it would have been... I would, I, it probably would have been better because I still love you, but I don't respect you. That would have been a much stronger point. That is, I can't control who I love, but I don't have to like you. Right. Right. And and that would have at least kind of. I don't know if that would have made her a change or a steadfast character, but um, because then it, 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 it would have helped us make her a change character. Well, yes, our, 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 then, then the next the next question is how would he reacted to that? But um, don't yeah. Jail. No, he <laughs> brewed some more. Yeah. <laughs> Sweat. Did his yeah. rich relatives ignore him once in a while? We, we don't, don't say that. We don't know. We don't see the Eastman's Eastman's. Well, the victors, we don't see the Eastman's Yeah. And I'm sure it was in the book, but I haven't read it for like 35 years. Yes, I know. Yeah. Well, I was 20. <laughs> I was 20. 
22. We were trying to pay you a compliment. Was, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I was trying to pretend you were only like 35. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's that's preschool true. when you were there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was only two. Yeah. The color in your beard is. So uh, <laughs> next month is when we do the story embroidery class, where we make it uh, up. That's a fun right. one. Already. Already. I know. Last year. Jeez. And um, if you have any suggestions for movies for next year, send them to me. Send them to list, so I will just randomly. Okay, so we've had some people send stuff on, over through the through the year, a couple here and there. So I'll, I'll put them in the mix to stay in the topic. But uh, um, are there kinds of movies that you opt for, or look for, or prefer? I try to do a variety. So yeah, I mean, if like I'll only do one sci-fi, or fantasy, or horror, or I like to do a, an animation, a musical, comedy, drama, um, foreign film. Uh, Occasionally, want to throw a TV show in there. But occasionally, a TV show if we can get one that's a full story. Um, and then, uh, usually, have uh, I, I don't go for Western, but it, you know, uh, a an Academy Award winning movie that we haven't done, um, the best picture type of thing, or best screenplay. I usually try to make sure that the, the scripts have gotten some sort of awards so that I can. Yeah, I'd like to. Have you ever done the. Uh, on the East Group and Oh, yeah. That's, yes. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. In the, that's in the software. Is it? Yeah. That's a great one. Yeah. We, we haven't done so, social network yet. Um, has anyone done that one yet? Uh, no. Just because I think that might be an interesting session. Um, uh, well, then. <laughs> now, I also try to do something that's like coming out now. It's a bit. By for the end of next year, it will be out on DVD. Like relatively new. This year's less good. Yeah, like Gravity or uh, Gravity, I would not want to do. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. I think it would be a. At least you know who the impact character is. So you know who the influence character is, and there's an awful lot that's not in the OS. So yeah. You know, sucky sci-fi like Prometheus or something. Oh God no. <laughs> <laughs> oh. God, that movie just, oh, it's so disappointing. Yeah, it really was. I mean, <laughs> I just I watched it a few nights ago, and I thought, what the fuck is this? I know, yeah, no, that's yeah. all right. We're, we'll have stuff. I yeah. know, I, I know, know Sean, I just, we, we should stop, yeah. <laughs>